It's a lovely day today and especially lovely as we get to check out this Coronet Electric 10 from the 1960s made by Smith Corona. This one has been repainted white and um, so that's awfully fun. I suppose it could be a blank slate for something if you want, but it is a white gloss and I love the clean look of it with the light brown, uh, light blue keyboard and other accents. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First of all, my name is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Welcome. And if you don't know anything about us, please visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. You will find the link to that in the description below. While you're at it, give us a thumbs up. Sure appreciate it. Smiley face, heart. Thanks so much for doing it. And subscribe. Um, if you haven't already done so. Also, if you are in the market for a vintage typewriter and you want to know when we have new typewriters available, click that bell somewhere over there. I'm not sure. Can't see. Um, because those of you on YouTube are the first to be notified when new listings are live and they go live every Saturday. We upload new typewriter listings. Okay, right here you're going to see your paper holder and the white tabs are your margins. So you press and drag for those. Now the margins, depending on where you have it set, is going to determine um, when you get to the end of that margin, that bell's gonna let you know that you need to hit your return handle. So you can go to the beginning and the next line. And then right here on the left side, one, two, three, that is your line selector. So when you hit the return handle, it's gonna advance either one, two, or three lines, depending on your preference. Okay, to release that carriage, you saw how I moved it. There are two handles behind the roller. Either one, just press that in, and that's how you move it. And it will move as far as you have the margin set. So if you have really narrow margins like this, well then that's only as far as your carriage is going to move, FYI. Okay, so I'm gonna move the carriage to the left before I open up this top because this handle will scrape the top and you don't want that to happen. So let's open this up. Inside you will see a universal ribbon. They are two inch plastic spools. Um, this one has two colors on it. Black is on top, red is on bottom. When it's time to change it out, you just pull these spools out, lift them out. Voila. And you just drop a new one in. When you need a new spool, you can visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com and we have a variety of ribbon options for you. Again, check the links in the description below. You'll see one that takes you right to our ribbon page. Okay, when you do reinstall one, make sure they're threaded through the guide wires properly. So you'll see here it came out of the guide wire, so I'm going to put that right back in there. Be aware that this will get ink on your hands. All right, so when you get to the end of the spool, it is not the end of the ink. There's a lot of ink on this ribbon and you need to manually reverse these ribbons. And you do that right here where it says rib rev and you just flip that and you just go back and forth. You can reverse the direction of your ribbon dozens and dozens of times before you need to replace it. Now. Every once in a while we get comments of like, hey, it should auto reverse. It depends on the ribbons you use. Some ribbons come with a little grommet at the very end and that um, uh, will click a lever and cause your ribbon to reverse. We do not have grommets on our ribbons, so just an FYI. Okay, so let's keep going and you'll see right here, this is tab, I'm gonna move this. So tab, and then you set or clear your tabs right there. This is your color selector on the right side. Power switch, copy set just determines, all it does is it determines how hard these type bars, this is your type bars, 
are gonna strike your paper. So it's a personal preference only. I don't necessarily see a lot of difference. Also keep in mind, this is an electric typewriter, so it does need to be plugged in and it has a manual return. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on and we're gonna do some typing. You can just use regular copy paper that you get at Walmart or wherever. There is specialty typewriter paper out there um, that you can search for, um, but you can just use regular. Okay, so you just set that paper there, turn the handle, make sure your paper goes underneath this metal bar. I like to come all the way around to make sure it's even and it's slightly off. So right here on the right side is a paper release lever and I'm gonna pull that forward, adjust my paper so it's nice and even and then re-engage it and then go over to the beginning so voila all right let's go ahead and test out our keys this first of all this is a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet electric pen and you heard that bell because that bell's like hey you've reached the end of your margin okay let's test out all of our keys like Smith Corona electrics for uh, those of you who are new to typewriters one they're affordable um, two if you get something that's a little bit nicer and um, you know fun looking and really cool and you have never used a typewriter before um, uh, we just have seen that you can run into some issues because you're not aware of how a typewriter works. These are really great to just get started on, get the basics down, learn how to use typewriters, which you would think is very simple, and it is, but if you're younger than 45, it's just a different mindset, and so um, I can't recommend it enough that you start with something like this, a, uh, either a manual or electric from the 60s and 70s with Smith Corona, my top recommendations for those of you new to typewriters. Get used to that, these are affordable, and then invest in something a little bit um, nicer. Um, that way, uh, if you have issues in the, in the learning curve and you try to force something, you don't damage a really expensive typewriter which is what we see um, very often. If you're brand new to typewriters and you invest in something a little bit nicer, there's a really good chance you're gonna cause damage to that typewriter because you don't know how to use it properly. And um, so I don't know how, why I got off on that little soapbox, but all that to say is this is gonna be, this types beautifully. Even if you have long projects, this is an amazing typewriter and um, you're gonna enjoy it. But it's so easy to use. Even the youngest kiddos will have no problem typing on it. So this is also my number one homeschooling or student uh, t kind of typewriter. Not necessarily this particular one, but yes, this one, but the 60s and 70s electrics, hands down, everybody, every day kind of typewriter. Okay, let's keep going. Thanks for listening as I kind of expounded on that a little bit we want everybody to be happy and we want you to have a really good experience with typewriters it is so fun to use typewriters and so i just want to make sure because they are pricey that you enjoy it Okay, so did you hear that bell? Um, you, what you do is when you hear that bell, you hit the return handle. And I'm gonna show you here in a second what to do if like you're in the middle of a word. There's the bell again. Okay, so now it stopped on me because I kept going and so it's like, hey, you told me this is where you wanted to end the sentence, but you kept going, so I'm gonna stop you. 
Um, I want to finish my word dog. So MR is margin release. G and a period. There, now I'm done. Okay, let's try the red ribbon. Okay, so this is fabuloso. Wonderful typewriter. Um, suitable for everyone and every day. So, the only thing I noticed, um, I'm a really fast typist, and when I type fast, I tend to just hit my space bar really lightly. So this one, and I, because my hands are like 10 year old hands, I tend to hit the space bar right here. This space bar likes to be hit down here. So you'll see on um, when you look at the um, up close image of this, you'll see some typing mistakes and some spacing mistakes. And that's just because I was not hitting the space bar down here, I was hitting it up here. Um, also, a couple of things on electric typewriters there are three keys that have an auto repeat, and if you hold them down, and that's the dash the period, and the X. Oh, yay. And let's say you make a mistake. So this is your backspace and you just backspace. But backspace does not erase. You just simply type over it. Or this is kind of where the repeat comes in handy. Let's say this whole sentence was just a mess. Then you could just X or dash through it however you want to do it and type again oh see and I made a mistake there okay so um, that's just part of typewriting is there's gonna be mistakes and you know what it's okay um, just embrace that as part of the art and welcome to typewriters we're so excited and I hope you grab this one or one like it. If you're new to typewriters, we welcome you to the typosphere. If you're a veteran, um, yay. So glad to be uh, with you in this little world we have. So have a great day. If you have questions or comments, let me know and be blessed.